Hey, I'm going to show everybody who watches the video how to design a really cool custom greeting card on Banner Season, how to create a custom coffee mug, and also how to create personalized brownies very quickly. And I'm going to use the example of a for sale by owner since I'm a real estate coach and I work with a lot of realtors. Anyway, this is your Banner Season site. And you can go to create a greeting card, but there you cannot be very creative. That's for a quick down and dirty card. So I always go to design studio. And then you can <clears throat> design all kinds of things, but we're going to do the greeting card first. So <clears throat> with the kind of house and the kind of card I want to create, I'm going to do a horizontal, horizontal card. You can do vertical, and then there's all kinds of stock cards that you can also select and customize. But for this purpose, we're going to use this one. Start with a blank slate. Now I've already uploaded the photos into the computer. Recent uploads. And that's the house. So that's the house that I put in there. Now I don't want it to be the full bleed like that. So I'm going to click on transform, grab one of these corners to keep it proportional. And I'm going to move it like that, about like that. And I don't like showing the sidewalk and the street, so I can crop it right here in the system. How awesome is that? Actually, let's get rid of some of that car, too. There we go. Look at that. Now I want to move it. I just go like that. And <clears throat> that looks good, but I'm going to put a frame around it. So I click on border. If you want a small border, it looks like that. If you don't like that, you click back on the photo, click a medium-sized border. That's what that looks like. That looks pretty good. And I, I like to put a background. So we're going to click on background, change that from a white background. And let's pick one of these. I kind of, I actually kind of like that one, I think. That looks like it's pretty well centered. If it's not, and what, notice when I move it, I'm moving the frame and every the border and everything. That's pretty cool. So I like that. That's centered. Now I want to add a text. Add empty text box. I'm going to move it down there. You can type first and then move it. And up here, you're typing what you want to say. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I click off, see what that looks like. It's a little bit small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these out just a little bit, make a little more room. And, oh, sorry about that. Let me click back on the text. And I'm going to make that bigger. That looks a little bit better. I want to change the font so it's a little bit darker. And I click off, so that's what that looks like. Awesome family home. It looks like it's all spelled right. If it weren't, it would be underlined up here. It does have spell checker on it. So that's the front of the card, the inside of the card. I'm going to put a little note. Click on text box. Add empty text. These are the seller's names. I use this message a lot. I'm going to make it kind of short. I usually put a little more in, but I'll, I'm going to put a short message. I like using that because I feel like I am different. But anyway, let's just say that's the message. I'm going to move that up a little bit. Now, the reason I didn't put my name in there is because I don't want my name to be printed. I want my name in a separate text box. And I'm going to put that down here like that. And notice it keeps it online. And I'm going to type in my name. backspace there and I do not want that to be uh, I do not want that to be printed I want to use some kind of text try this one and I want it to be a lot larger than that that looks pretty good I kind of like that now I want to put a photo of me in there photo I use quite often 
Obviously, that's way too big. That's still a little big. I like using the uh, drone photo because it shows that, you know, I am different. And I'm going to put a little border around that too. See what that looks like. Now let's move this text up just a little bit. Move my signature down a little bit like that. Okay, so that's the top of the inside, the bottom panel. I'm going to put my Keller Williams logo in there. Just like that. That's obviously way too big. It's, I like to change the size of it. I, I think it just looks better like that. And I'm going to add an empty, I, we already have a text box in there. Look. Grab this text box, move that down. And here I'm going to put my information again, just printed. I usually would put my uh, email and some, some other information, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So we're gonna leave it just like that. So let's look again. This is the front of the card, awesome family home, great location. And actually, let me put a exclamation point behind that. I think that looks a little bit better. Inside top panel, Steve and Amy, a note to them, my photo. Bottom panel is that. And then we got the back. And on the back, you know what I think I'm going to do. Sometimes I use my branding, but I'm going to put their photo again. And notice, watch what I'm going to do here. If I click background, and you can do that on any panel. Click background on the photo. Once you click on it, and it will span it to the whole panel. Now on the very back, that bottom three quarters of an inch is reserved for return address. So this card's ready to go, just like that. Take another look. And I'm gonna click add, <clears throat> add to cart. It says some photos will be blurry, they won't be. If it looks bad on here, that looks bad. And if it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look bad. I know that from using the system a lot. So that's ready to go. Now I'm gonna add a custom mug, show you guys how to create a mug very quickly. Let's go to mugs. We're going to use this one. And this is a blank slate right, uh, right here. It'll make sense to you in a minute. I'm going to put their house on a mug, which is pretty cool. Now, if I wanted to put two photos on there, I could do that like that. And I could space them. And I could preview and that'll show you what the mug looks like, but I don't like that. So uh, if I had two different photos like front yard, backyard, I would do that. So I'm not going to do that. I just did that for an example to show you guys. We're going to get rid of all that. Click on that photo again, hit transform. Move that in the center. And I don't like the driveway or the sidewalk in the street. So we're going to crop that out. Put this right in the center. We're going to put a frame around it. See what that looks like. And I'm also going to put some text on the mug, which is cool, really awesome. And we're going to type home sweet home. And you know what? Let's put quotation marks around that. Just see what that looks like. And click off of that, preview. All right, pretty cool, look at that. Uh, we're gonna add that to the cart. Now, normally I would probably just send that, but because this is demonstration purposes, I wanna show you guys how to add a project uh, brownies. Let's see. Personalized gift. We're gonna send them four brownies with this. So I'm clicking personalize the brownies. I'm gonna put their house on the brownie. So I click that, it says upload a logo. You don't, doesn't need to be a logo. I wish that maybe one day they'll change that and say upload a photo or a logo. 
you can load a logo and you see I have banner season down there, but I'm putting a photo on this one and baked especially for, you can have that, you can leave that or you can change that. Um, We'll put baked especially for Steve and Amy. Now I want to see what that looks like before I send it. So they're going to get those four brownies with a custom greeting card and a mug, all with their photo of their home on it. The card has a message from me inside. Anyway, on this preview, I'm okay with that. So let's see. I'm going to add that. Save that. Add to the cart. So this is what we have. A greeting card, photo of their home, a mug. It shows two only because it shows one side and the other. I'm only sending one. Uh, I could send two, but I'm only sending one and four brownies. So we're ready to go. Select recipients. On this one, I'm not going to send it to them. I didn't get their permission to make a video, so I'll do that separately. But I'm going to send this to myself just to show you. I'm preloaded. Now, <clears throat> for these people, they wouldn't have been in my system. I would have clicked Add New Contact and add them. But I'm going to send this to me for pur purpose I already explained. Excuse me, the price of everything. I'm paying $1.49 for the card, $14.99 for the mug, $8.49 for four custom brownies. Total package, postage $12.05, $37 for these things. Is that worth going after $300,000 for sale by owner where I stand to make $9,000 commission? Yep. So when I click this, that's it. Mailer has been sent. Think about that. For sale by owner is getting all this stuff from all these other realtors, and it's all four-color brochures, nice stuff, but it's all about the real estate agent and the company. From me, from Jim McCord, they're getting a box with a card in there with a photo of their home, message from me on the inside, four brownies with a photo of their home, and a coffee mug that they can keep. It's really different. It works. You guys are going to love this. Anyway, uh, whoever it is that sent you this video or whoever's talking to you about banner season, get back in touch with them. Let them know you're interested. They'll show you more. And you're going to absolutely love it. I've been a licensed realtor for 26 years. I've never seen any marketing this good with any company. It's phenomenal. You guys have a great day.